nice guys, I love you too. <laughs> I'm liking this crowd, this is a big crowd. I'm from a family of eight kids, so this is, you know, just my speed. Yeah. Mormon! Mormon, totally. <laughs> Well, my parents actually just use the rhythm method of birth control, which just says you really shouldn't let white people do anything that requires rhythm. Which is not really going to work for you. Then my dad tells me, he's like, son, you should practice abstinence. I'm like, dad, you need more practice. Because you kind of suck at it. He's like, no, 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 I just don't want you repeating all eight of my mistakes. <laughs> Thanks, dad. Now it's kind of cool growing up in a, in a big family, you know, we'd have a lot of fun, like, you know, we'd kind of play pranks on each other, my brother replaces my toothpaste with crazy glue, I'm like, oh, that's fine. So I, I replaced his insulin with heroin. <laughs> he woke up in a coma six months later. I called him from juvie and I was like, I'm gonna beat that. He got me back though. He, he took my cell phone and replaced his ringtone with the sound of a really loud fart. <laughs> and then he calls me. I'm in a crowded cafe, and I just hear this thing, and I'm like, "Whoa!" That sounded close. <laughs> Is that me? I think it was. I felt my pants vibrate. <laughs> but yes, yes. Uh, eight kids. The family is Mormon. You know, it's, it's not such a bad thing, really. Mormons are clean living people. They're, they don't drink or smoke or fornicate. Those are kind of my hobbies. <laughs> so, you know, a little disagreement. But it sucks because my name is Ammon, and that's actually a Mormon name. So, like, people recognize my name, and they're like, oh, you're Mormon? So am I. And I'm like, let's just finish the lap dance in silence. <laughs> It sometimes sucks being Mormon because, you know, girls don't want to go out with me. They assume all I know is missionary. <laughs> but I was married. I just uh, got out of an eight-year marriage, actually. No kids. I'm too much of a procrastinator. <laughs> I like how Jimmy's like, I just got engaged. You're like, yay! And he's like, oh, he's single now. <laughs> now, getting out of an eight-year marriage is kind of like getting out of prison. Except that in prison, I'd pr probably get laid a lot more. <laughs> I don't know. I think we just got married too young, you know? I, I actually bought the ring with two months allowance instead of two months salary. That kind of tells you something. But uh, I don't really understand the whole really big diamond ring to get engaged thing. You know, my brother had this girlfriend that was like, I want a really big diamond. And he's like, I can't afford that. So, so he took her to see the movie Blood Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> totally backfired. He had to dump her. She's a huge racist. So, at least he found out right away, you know. But, uh, no, my, my new girlfriend is great. She's a real optimist. It's great. You know, our first night together, she handed me one of those extra large Magnum condoms. I'm like, alright, so I made her a balloon animal. I'm like, seriously? What do you mean? That's actually kind of a funny story how we met. I had heard that turkey makes you tired, so I slipped a few slices into a drain at a bar. It kind of worked, and I hear the Heimlich, I totally got the second base. So. Yeah, funny stuff. But you know, I don't like rupees because they're such a weird drug. It's like the only drug that you take, but other people get to enjoy. Really I, I, I don't do drugs anymore, I still smoke, but I'm, I'm trying to get healthy, you know, I, I thought I'd try riding a bike to work, but after 15 minutes I was just, I was so winded, I just gave up trying to stop with the padlock. <laughs> but you know, to get healthy I'd start taking children's vitamins, and then their parents caught me. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd take up a sport, so I tried bungee jumping, but I turned out to only good at bungee shitting myself. <laughs> so I had more to 
Now, I, I, I New York. One thing I love about New York, if you guys aren't from here, you might see some street performers. I love street performers. I stop and watch them all the time. I saw this one guy. He was so funny. He's like yelling all this really funny stuff, and he like gets in a fight with a garbage can, and then he shit himself. And he's like, oh, that's not a street performer. That's a crazy homeless guy. Yeah, I was particularly embarrassed because I've been following Graham for a half hour laughing and clapping. I put ten bucks in the she screen too. And I'm just a nice guy like that, you know? I, I would give anybody a kid. But if I don't like you, I'd probably lie about my blood type. Just for fun. But uh, no, I, I do live in New York. One thing that's actually kind of shitty about living in New York as a white person is that cabs always stop for you, even when you don't need it. All the time. Like, you know, they'll pull up and they'll be like, white man, you need a taxi? They'll be like, I'm in my car at a traffic light. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Well, thank you. Yeah, so I, I have a car in the city, you know, it's, uh, I wanted one of those really, really big SUVs, you know, but uh, the X was green and vegetarian and all that, so I, I drive a hummus. <laughs> it gets really good gas mileage, but you know, I still spend so much money on gas these days. Because I'm an arsonist, too. Um, it's expensive, you know. Like, I tried switching to solar power for arson, but you just look really stupid sitting on top of an abandoned warehouse with a magnifying glass. <laughs> Oh, it's clear. <laughs> I, was, uh, I, was, I was walking down here and actually this, this guy came up to me and said, Excuse me, sir, are you a uh, registered Democrat? And I said, No, I'm a registered sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't need Republicans for this poll. I love the blue states, that joke always works. <laughs> Yeah. The guy actually did invite me to a uh, fundraiser, and it was, it was a black tie event, so I brought Tiger Woods, because he's both. Um, but I, I don't follow politics, but I do love Barack Obama. He just got that. It was like a, for the rest of you, that's a Cialis joke. You'll get it at some point in the next 36 hours. Um, anyway, all right, that is my time. Thank you very much, everybody.